Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the ARB Speedy Recovery Kit. This is a little kit put together by ARB with a little tire repair kit. And this kit includes everything you need to patch up a tire quickly. Tools like a little reamer, a little insertion tool, these little rubber pieces that you can use to plug a tire. It's got some pliers, a blade, a uh, little Allen key, a uh, pressure tool. Also has some lubricant to help get these into the tire easily. And then it has some additional spare parts, full valve stems, as well as some valve cores little tool and some valve caps. So we've got everything we need here to do a little repair. We actually have to... I've got a little nail in the tire right here. The tire has slowly been losing some air so we're gonna take this out and get it patched up. We'll go from there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll use the pliers to try and pull out the nail and then we'll need to use the reamer to try and open up the hole and get it ready for us to put in the insertion tool which is used to put in one of these guys into the hole to plug it. And then we're also going to use some of the lube just to make it easier to get these things into the tire. And then we'll clean it all up and we'll go from there. pretty well in there but you can definitely tell that it's leaking air as I move it looks like it might be threaded which is making it harder to pull out as well I've got another pair of normal pliers here to try and assist get some more grip on it but right now it seems like the needle nose pliers are the best bet to get some grip on there. Looks like it's starting to come out a little bit as I'm unscrewing it. It looks like it's a bolt or a screw. It looks like it was a screw. Get that guy out of there. But as you can hear, it's losing some air. So I'm gonna try and use the reamer tool now just to try and open up the hole a little bit, uh, just so that we can get the plug in a little bit easier. So, Seems to be going in okay. I'm gonna use some of the lubricant just to try and help it along a little bit and also lube it up to get the plug in there a bit easier. So pull it back out. Okay. 
lubed up a little bit. Get some of the loop on the reamer. Let's get that in there. So we're able to get it all the way in the hole. And I'm just trying to make it open it up a little bit. Seems to be working very well. So while that's in there, we'll get the plug ready. So to plug the hole, we'll just need one of these black things. Take it out. Right here, it looks like this. is we'll pinch it in here and then what essentially what we'll do we'll push it into the hole of the tire and we'll pinch and this thing will plug the hole and then we can cut the excess material off and we'll go from there so just need to thread it through here we can use our needle nose pliers and pull it through about halfway Pull it back a little bit. So, the halfway mark, and then what we'll do is we'll pull out the reamer and then push this in all the way up to there. So that it plugs the hole, and then we'll use, as we pull it out. We'll push this down against it and push that off of here and make sure it stays in the tire. So we'll get this lubed up a little bit to make sure it goes in there easily and then we'll get it going. So I'll put some lube on the end there. We'll get it going on here a little bit. Pull out the reamer and push this in there. So the reamer is almost threaded, so it's easy. So you can use it nicely to ream out the hole, but also pull it out easily. You can kind of twist it out. reamer out and now we'll use this to push the plug in. There we go, it's starting to go in. We'll push it all the way in. so it's pretty take some effort to get it in there might be a little bit easier if we take the wheel and tire off of the truck so you have more of a direct angle you can push it in from Now we can see we've got it most of the way in. We can see here the 
there's a little bit of the plug sticking out, which is what we want. So we know it's gone all the way through the tire. And then we have some excess on the outside. So now we're gonna hold this piece down to keep the plug in there and then pull out the insertion tool. And then once we have that out, we'll cut off the excess material. go it's plugged it's not making any more noises so we know that it's good we'll use the blade to cut off these pieces and then we can put on some soapy water or some spit and just to make sure and see if there's any more air coming out so let's get that cut off and we'll go from there. So this is the blade that comes with it. Open that up. And then we can cut this off. paper towel so just to clean it off just got some blue shop towel we can clean off some of that excess lube and then can take a little bit of soapy water or some spit Put it on there and just see if there's any air coming out. It'll bubble up. Put some spit on there. As we can see, there's nothing bubbling up. So it seems like it's good, at least for now, as it's driving. We might put a little bit more strain and pressure on it, but it seems to be a pretty good patch. So, there we go. So, the tool we used for this job worked all very well. The little plugging tool is really nice. A lot of similar tools don't have this piece to push against the plug while you're pulling it back out. So then sometimes you run the risk. Sometimes you run the risk of when you're pulling it out to pull the whole thing out again. So this works really well to keep it in there as you're pulling it out. The remit tool worked really well, especially with some lube on there. The tip is really easy to get in, and then this helps to open up the hole and make it even easy to get in the plug. We'll see how these hold up. It seems to be pretty solid. They didn't rip apart or tear in half when we were putting it in, so hopefully it'll hold the air in there. Seems pretty good. The needle nose pliers that come with the kit seem to work really well. No issue with them. Perfect little set of needle nose pliers. Um, I did have to use some other pliers with the job just to try and get that screw out of there. But this would have done the job, just taken a little bit longer. So it might be handy to have another set of pliers with you. The lube itself seemed to work well, it just seems to be some little grease that works really well. And then the little blade also worked great to cut off the excess material, really cut through that easily. It just seems like a little cheap blade, but perfect for the job. So overall, 
for the job. The kit is perfect. Nice to have some of the extra little pieces there. Um, I have lost some of the valve caps before, so I've taken some out of here and used those. So that's been great. And then the little pressure tester here. Yeah. I have a separate one that I use in the truck, but these ones seem to work really well. We can go ahead here and see what the pressure came down to after we did the job. So, let's see where we're at. Struggling to focus on there. Looks like we're right at about 30 PSI. I usually run about 35 PSI, so we lost about 5 PSI during the job. We'll use the air compressor to get that back up to pressure. And we should be good to go. I'll keep an eye on the pressure over the next couple of days to see, make sure that the patch is holding and we'll go from there. I'll be replacing these tires soon. So yeah. this kit is not recommended to run on these patches. I think it will run, last for a long time, but overall I think it's recommended to, once you have to patch a tire, to either get it properly repaired or replace it. So let's get it aired back up and we'll go from there. That's the ARB Speedy Puncture Repair Kit. This is the bolt that we pulled out of there. And it was quick and easy. So definitely worth having this in the truck and being able to get yourself out of a sticky situation, especially if you don't have a spare. I do have one under the truck, but it's good to have around. You never know when you might need it. And there we go. So that brings us to the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.